Hi, this is Bill Watkins. We're in 1 Corinthians chapter 16. I want us to begin with verse 3 today and read down a few verses. Paul is talking about the collection for the saints in Judea, and it becomes a pattern for us as a collection to help those who are in need and to help to promote the cause of Christ wherever that is. But this is what he says about that collection in verse 3 and following. And when I come, whoever you approve by your letters, I will send to bear your gift to Jerusalem. But if it is fitting that I go also, they will go with me. Now I will come to you when I pass through Macedonia, for I am passing through Macedonia. And it may be that I will remain or even spend the winter with you, that you may send me on my journey wherever I go. But I do not wish to see you now on the way, but I hope to stay a while with you if the Lord permits. But I will tarry in Ephesus until Pentecost, for a great and effective door has been opened to me, and there are many adversaries. Well, just let me take that first part of what we read just in that moment. And that is that Paul took special care to make sure that everything that he did in the handling of the money was open and above board. He said, the money that you give, you send it with someone else, and they will take it. I don't want to take that money. They will take that money. I may be able to travel with them, but even not, you pick someone who's trustworthy to handle that. The point that Paul is making here is really important. It would, it's easy in religious circles sometimes for people to abuse the contribution. Paul went to special effort to make sure that it would not be abused. That that money, we need to think of it this way, is the Lord's money and it's set aside to do the Lord's work. It's not set aside for us to simply use however we wish, but to do the Lord's work. Do you have money that you've set aside to do the Lord's work? Be sure that you take it seriously. Be sure you handle it in an honest way. Thanks for watching.